How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, last night at 11 o'clock, Kathy and I were driving home from the Walmart, and she suddenly looks over to the right as we neared our local park, which is across the street from where we live. We were about a block and a half from the park, heading toward it on the right side of the road. And she points out something moving above the tree lines. I would estimate about one to 200 feet. Now we have the refinery directly behind my building up the hill. So I doubt seriously if any aircraft can be flying over that, around that, and with the city, uh, city hall, the courthouse, and the jail, being right up the street and the district attorney, I don't think aircraft would be flying over this area. So I look out the window and I said, what the hell was that? And we saw this shape, triangular, absolutely huge, blotting out the sky with three lights, two on uh, each end, one on the left end, one on the right end. I'm going to post a picture of a Triangular UFO sighting in Turkey to give you an idea of what the thing looked like. The angle was at. It wasn't a triangle like you'd use in a band. It was, uh, I think those are isosceles triangles. They're kind of uh, elongated. But I was traveling on its side, and the light on the top was blinking on and off, on and off. Uh, now, I'm familiar with aircraft. I have attended dozens of air shows dozens of military uh, day events across the country when my dad was in the army I was in the several air patrol I know what an aircraft sounds like this thing had absolutely no sound it was moving slowly across the sky from the right of where we were looking at to the left and we have helicopters flying this area day and night for the police and sheriff this was not a helicopter, it was not a jet, it was not an aircraft. Uh, as we went further down the street, about a block, we saw the thing move across the top of the tree line, and all of a sudden it was gone. No noise, no wind, no nothing. We, no, we didn't see a beam come out of it, we didn't see anything around it, there was nothing chasing it. But this was not a conventional aircraft. And I have reported that to the National UFO Reporting Center. So tonight I have a mystery UFO over Martinez. What was it? And I'll contact the local paper Monday and the sheriff <clears throat> and the police tonight and ask them if anybody else has seen it. All right, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great morning, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.